Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to my career. Sorry, it's been a little while. Uh, just been doing some things at work. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. Uh, looks like we got something on our phone. Probably a message from our agent, Brian. Yep. <coughs> Trying to interview. Ooh, some, some more. All right. And I don't know much about shoes, so well those ones. Alright. Twist my arm. Now I just have to remember how to get home. <coughs> <coughs> So I'll see you guys when I get there to put on this new shirt that he gave me. Oh, man. The lonely road ends here. Welcome home. Thanks, Ben. Yo. What up, DJ? B. It is 3.23. So, what's your point? My point is, why don't you get some real food instead of eating Reese's Puffs for, I'm guessing, like the third time today? Yo, why don't you mind your own business, man? They my favorite, man. They got my taste buds feeling all sweet and rejuvenated. You gonna do me. You do you. All right, let's get this new shirt on. Still don't understand how he's gonna walk into a dark closet, not turn a light on and shut the door behind him, so. You eat your breakfast today? Nah, man, I wasn't really hungry. Most important meal of the day. I know, man, you only tell me every other day. I take care of my tenants. I swear that guy's in the co it's a different guy every single time it seems like now. Mm. He's hitting me up. Ryan probably. Yep. I just did this. Um, giving me more shoes. Stick with them. <coughs> Did pretty well the last couple, the last couple games wearing these ones. So I'll then start going, going south. I think I'll stick with them. Inside a sky high perspective go. of the Bell beautiful kids. city of New Orleans, where we're bringing you action tonight. Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, a long season in maybe 10 day windows right, or five game windows, maybe a month window. It varies from coach to coach. For me personally, I would try to. Big 
group substitution here for New Orleans. Really, you're going to put me on Anthony Davis. Jensa has checked in for Cousins. Coach, don't you remember? I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a defensive liability. I can't do that. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Drew Holiday. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, <gasps> Gorgie Dang is out of the ring. Then it's Crawford, then it's Jones, and it's Muhammad in at the small forward position. Still up. I just love what Muhammad can do, Clark, for a team coming off the bench. Always looks to attack the basket. He is best for locked in, can yeah, function as beat down or something like that. Yeah, you know, for some guys, for me to have to a rotational defend player it. off the bench is a hand in glove fit. And I think Muhammad falls into that category. Oh my God. Good shot contest. If you needed to, he's not the best defender, but you love what he brings on offense, particularly if he's coming off the bench. Green dishes to Jang over at Jinsa. DJ kicks to Muhammad. Back to Green. And Muhammad has it in the corner. Uh, Off target from outside. Yeah. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can. Watch to, me. Um, Watch me dunk on in. On in. On in. And they're actually earning it well right now. Crawford passes to Green. The dish to Muhammad. Jones in the post. He's covered by Rondo. The shot by Muhammad. Nobody around. Cans it from downtown. Muhammad's got six. Yeah, I think this is an area where Muhammad can improve, quite honestly, Kevin. An increase in range, I think, would help set the rest of his game up nicely. Pondexter dishes the more. Davis sets a screen. Five on the clock. No good from Moore. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Clearly a frustrating missed opportunity there. Perfect screen. Got him the Ooh. space he needed, but he bricked it. Yeah, that's too strong. Maybe I'm not such a defensive liability anymore. Pelicans, How did I say that? It's stolen by Jones. <laughs> Davis is probably going to put Jones me on a poster. Leading the break. Pass to DJ. And he makes that one. Green got his Won't first points on in this skates. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Yeah, and the execution time and time again, right on point. They're running their offense to perfection. And so it's Minnesota. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be right back after this. Coach, keep me in the game, please. And it's still early in his career, but certainly some encouraging signs from DJ. Veteran combo guard uh, Jamal Crawford, for instance, talked about how he's taken the youngster under his wing. Crawford has to say. I'm always watching how different teams are playing, playing us early in the game, you know, what advantages we have. And so I try to relay that to him and to our whole bench and then just go from there. But he's, like I said, he's been like a sponge. He's just soaking everything in. And, and uh, he asks a lot of questions, but that's really good for us. This is part of what makes Jamal Crawford such a valuable player coming off the bench. He's focused and his analysis and drive to share that with other guys in the team is, is remarkable. It's a great point, Kevin. It's like having another coach on the bench, one who can score in the clutch, though. And, and guys like that are about so much more. And that's just what they do on the floor. And he's the kind of mentor a player of DJ's talent level can feed off of. <laughs> And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. And also knocking down the mid-range because they're making good decisions with the basketball. So on the floor for Minnesota. Well, we've got Muhammad, I don't want you to be my veteran and anymore. I want, I want Crawford. Jones in at the point. And the Pelicans at last season's trade deadline making the big deal for DeMarcus Cousins. You know, you look at Anthony Davis being paired with Cousins and certainly on paper you could make the argument that they've got the best one-two punch on the front line in the league. Uh, two Kentucky guys, great size and offensive skill. 
Yeah, yeah no more defensive ability. liability for me. Uh, they can surround them with shooters and some perimeter defense. Get I off this Rondo. Could be scary. <laughs> and it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That is Can't stop me. The game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Here's Green. Bruh. Well, back before this run in the NBA, DJ was considered a standout prospect in the game. I mean, he took some time off to focus on music, but has now rekindled that love for the game and is making the most of his abilities. Out that one in, and the Timberwolves lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Davis. Minnesota's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Green with a screen on run. And there's the pass to DJ. And Jones has it in the corner. Here's Muhammad. Buries the long-range jumper. Ooh. Muhammad's got 12 points in the game. Yeah, the D with very little pressure. Yeah, you better call timeout. Shooters, three of the last Coach, don't take me out, please. Coach, please. Have been from beyond. And first I suppose we just crossed. Don't take me they out. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And, and once they establish that flow offensively, Dang really it. never got And so it's yeah. Minnesota. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've got a... Shut thank up, you, Amy. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the... Keep it simple and the pick and roll. Sounds good to me. Works for me, coach. Just give me some more playing time well, in the second half. It's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. One, three, he's checked in for Bielitsa. Power forward again. I really don't want to keep guarding Anthony Davis. It's going to make me look like a fool at Davis one point. Sometime. Because I still have so a the defensive liability. Count them and the Timberwolves lead has been cut down to 11 on the bucket from Drew Holiday. At least I'm in the nice looking starters. floater there, Kevin. Such a fast shot, a quick release. Really hard to guard that. And when you look at the Pelicans, it, you got to expect see? for them see? to be see? one of the top defensive teams in the league. You've got the Twin Towers down low, and Drew Holiday is in the top handful, I think, of see? defensive point guards in the Coach, league. Coach, I'm a defensive liability. Davis. Don't put and me the on their best player. Jump shot there of Davis. you got to respect his perimeter game. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Pelicans do have their challenge. But Anthony Davis remains committed to winning in New Orleans. He said, I love it here. I don't plan on leaving. Yes, I fit into that old school category where I want to try to win where I start my career. That's always been a goal of mine. My goal is to bring a championship here. Kevin? And David, loyalty does go a long way. Davis is a perfect guy to build your See? team around. See? He wants to win. New Orleans making a switch here. I, I blocked Davis. The edge on the glass is well, the difference. It's allowed I think that's the name of my title. This lead. The name of my video. Reflection of their superior I blocked Davis. To this point. Um, it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Davis sets a screen. A floater. How is that defensive breakdown on me? To 11 on the bucket from Rondo. Coach, that's not Andrew Holiday at 6'4. Great, great size for the point guard position. And T. Enables him to cover what are we talking about? What were we talking about during halftime? Keep running the pick and roll. Smaller players in front of him. You keep running the pick. I pop. Run. You don't do anything. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Davis with a screen on Butler. Screen by Cousins. Shot clock at six. They double him with Butler. And stolen oh, by Here we go. Here we go. Break, Minnesota. Boom. And Green slams it in. No replacement for determination. No substitute, I should say. <clears throat> DJ wants to beat everybody down the court, especially in transition. 
And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays. Don't in the take me ball. out. Coach, I just had a huge play. A timeout call huge play. Don't take me out. Clark, we know one thing. You are a connoisseur of scoring Please. the post. Which players, in your opinion, do you I'll like give you $5. Please don't board? take me out. I, I tell you, DeMarcus Cousins is really good down there. I don't like you anymore, Coach. Here's Rondo. 129 left to play here in the fourth. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Timberwolves. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at seems. Yeah, they, they'd sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy. How is that on me? And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And guys, He's got it off me and swear. Against someone four times over the course of a season, it's a great feeling to snatch that first one. Good in-game adjustments tonight against the Pelicans. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Carl Anthony Towns. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. So on the floor for Minnesota, Shabazz Muhammad is out there with DJ. See, that's how you Jones. run the pick and roll. Then it's Gorgie Dang, and it's Wells in at the two. T. And that's a killer instinct on display. Put me a point guard if he's not going to run on it. ice. And, you know, this is what's needed at this point in the game, Greg. The great team know how to close Not my guy out. anymore. This is not the team we've been watching for most of the night. Well, hopefully they can ride this momentum into the next game because this one is done. Over. Fine. Green kicks to Jones. Here's Wells. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Yeah, with, with this lead, that's probably going to do it. Fans heading for the exits. And, Greg, you know how hard it is to win on the road, but they seem to have this one firmly in control and have been very impressive today. Rondo passes to Pondexter. Back to Rondo. Out left to the wing. Puts up a three. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care Ooh. of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need oh. Yeah, check it out. Hey, Boo Boo, what are you looking for? Huh, me? Oh, uh, I was looking for them boys' pride. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way y'all took it tonight. I know they need it. Ah, <laughs> you a fool, Boo Boo. <laughs> okay, l listen to my hip. Look, the old sports injury. Look, you going to stick to it. Handshakes from now, okay? Come on, old man, give me old man. Nothing. Who didn't play sports? Man. Man. Uh oh, somebody else hitting me up. I'm Brian again. Oh. Ooh, coach, coach, give me some good news, coach. Sure is. What have you been doing out there with your minutes, DJ? So, you give me more? Give me more? Woo! More minutes.